How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. In the last episode we recruited Mesprit and following suit we're going to go after more of the Lake Trio here in No Town by heading off to our newly unlocked dungeon, the Lake of Enlightenment, which we got after uh, unlocking uh, Mesprit. Meet up with Yuxi, it's a 30 floor dungeon so I'm going to do something a little different here and speed up the video like we used to in the old Golden Bolt days and post commentate. Um, I think that's a good idea because the 30 floor dungeon is really long. So without waiting too much longer as the dungeon starts, let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Lake of Enlightenment. Uh, there's just a butt ton of Pokemon in this dungeon. I can't even joke around. There are so many and you're going to see what I mean as we go through because like... I don't know, if, if I wouldn't have post commentated this, it would have been at least two episodes of trying to get Yuxi when Yuxi's not even like a primarily like super popular legendary or anything like that. It's just one to get off the checklist. Um, I don't know. Maybe a lot of people like Yuxi. I'm not really sure though. I haven't, out of the three of the Lakes trio, I have to say Yuxi's probably my least favorite. But he is probably, I don't know, he's pretty unique though. But between, but, but for all of them, I would say he's probably my least favorite. Azelf's definitely my favorite. Always liked Azelf. Uh, but I don't really, I don't know, the Lake Trio is just interesting to me because there's not, they are, they are definitely cool, but there's not a lot that, that have them going for them to me that makes them incredibly memorable. Also, this first floor sucked, but it gets so much worse because like you see in the bottom, in like the top, like this room that we were just in where the stairs were and in like the top right of that last floor. As we go on and get into the upper 20s, every single room is like that. And it's like, dude, why? But I don't know, uh, the Sinnoh Legendaries, the one that really always stuck out to me most and really just kind of kept my, my interest most was definitely Dialga. I actually had, back when that game first came out, back when Diamond and Pearl first came out with, on the DS, I actually went, I don't know if I pre-ordered it or what, I think I had to get it on release day or something like that, but I had a little pen or a little stylus for my DS and it had Dialga on the top and he was standing on this little thing, this little like circular thing that just said his name on it and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world because I started with diamond opposed to pearl uh but I don't know I always really liked Dialga out of the uh out of the Sinnoh legendaries there's a lot of there you know there's a there's a handful of legendaries in Sinnoh I do like Giratina as well but I think Dialga is definitely my favorite I fear I'm sure Dialga is a lot of people's favorites though because Dialga was uh the one of the main antagonists in uh in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky. By the way, if you didn't see my tweet, or if you hadn't found out the news yet, uh, there's uh, definitely a... What Nintendo announced that they're putting the Mystery Dungeon games... Red Rescue Team... I don't know if it's Red Rescue Team, actually. I don't think it is. I think it's just Blue Rescue Team, which is fine, because it's just the DS version of Red Rescue Team. But they're putting Blue Rescue Team, and I think the Explorers games, like the second ones, all on the eShop, which means... In my free time... I can replay some GB and Quentin, maybe even some Gobo and Nigel if I'm feeling it, but I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm, uh, I want to replay Red Rescue Team. I don't know if I'd do it on the channel or anything, I probably, I won't do another Red Rescue Team Let's Play, because I don't, I think it's kind of like, I wouldn't be, I'm not into like replaying the same game on the channel, but I think that, uh, unless, uh, you know, there are some that I would be willing to do, being Star Fox Adventures or uh, Emerald Far Off in the Distance, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon, but I'm just saying like, uh, when it comes down to uh, playing them for fun or maybe even live streaming, I, I'd be, I really am in the mood to play some uh, OG mystery dungeons, some like red and blue rescue team. Ugh, it's a solid game, man. It's a very, it's a short story in comparison to a lot of the newer ones, especially Explorers of the Sky, which had the definitely the best story in my opinion. The story's a lot shorter, but it's real quality stuff, man. I feel, well, this one was pretty intense, too. I don't know, all the stories didn't seem to be too bad. Uh, this one's just got a lot of after-game content because you're allowed to get every single Pokemon in the game, which is just kind of like, I, that makes sense, but that's a lot of replayability that I feel like you don't totally need to... I don't know, there's a lot, it's just like they're kind of being like, keep playing our game, with our pro but the, when there's not like a huge story reward, you know? I don't know, I feel like I've talked about that before. Also these why nots, can you shadow tag in here? And at one point, I think it happens later, I don't know if I'll catch it, but it happens at one point where Gibbs can't move, and I'm sitting on a diagonal, and then he lays up counter, so I can't really use a physical attack or move, because he's in a corner, so I can only hit him with pin missile anyway, and I'm out of pin missile, and I'm like, what is this crap right here? I don't know. 
But that's just how the lake of- Also, no lakes! I don't see any freaking lakes in this place! They say there are lakes, but I don't see any! Why- they caught the- unless we are, like, so far under the water that we're just hanging out under the- under it. I don't know, man. That's ridiculous. Also, totally think- I also tweeted this earlier and I got some responses from it. Also, I just got wrecked by a Psyduck. No surprise, though. Psyduck's awesome. Um, I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase- I tweeted about this going, like, is it worth it? But I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy Stardew Valley. It looks like a lot of fun and I'm kind of missing one of- like, a game like that to just kind of casually play. Like a really relaxing one because I do have a new real job now that I'm doing. So that takes up most of my day and then I come back and I make sure I have a video up for you guys getting back into that schedule. And then, uh, I would like to, you know, just kind of like chill and play a game. And I think Stardew Valley would be a good game for just like this summer to hang out and chill and... Because I really enjoyed Story of Seasons and I really did enjoy- I really enjoy Harvest Moon and, uh, Animal Crossing, as you know. So I think that's a- that's a good purchase and maybe one of these days I'll, uh, end up live streaming it, maybe on a weekend or something like that. Because, uh, I look- also Greninjas are in here! But yeah, I think that would be fun. I think that's gonna be- end up being a fun game to, uh, especially you can, like, name your dog and I'm totally naming it, like, GB or something like that. Just because I like to name my pets in games based on my Mystery Dungeon characters now. Like, I think I named my farm in Story of Seasons GB Farm. And if you can do that again, I might name the farm GB and I might name the dog Gobo or something. I don't know. Or I'll just name him like Gubbles or something like that. That could be like, that could be the new, or Goobles or something. That could be if they do a Mystery Dungeon uh, 5, that would be it. Because technically this is Mystery Dungeon 4, right? Because all the, well a lot of people consider it Sky separate from Time and Darkness, but I don't really do that because they're all the same story and they're all the same game. The only thing that Sky added was the little thing with, uh, Shaman, the little, like, after game thing, which is my favorite part of the whole game, if you didn't know, is the expedition, uh, part where you're climbing the mountain and hitting, like, the control points or whatever they are, I don't remember. But, uh, it's the, it's where you climb the mountain and then, and, uh, with, sh with the Shaman village and all that, right after you beat the main story. I really, really like that part of the game. Um, so that's alone makes Sky a little bit better, but a lot of people consider that to be Mystery Dungeon 3. I don't really, I kind of wrap time, darkness, and sky all up in the same thing. Um, I think, and there's still like the same generation, so that makes sense to me. I don't know, but then there's a... But then we see, I say, Mystery Dungeon 3 is Gates, and then this would be the fourth one. I don't know if they do a fifth one? I don't know, that seems really weird to me. It seems a little obscure, uh, doing a fifth one soon on the DS. Maybe on the NX, if NX ends up being a handheld. Because a lot of people, a lot of people are just like speculating a lot of things about the NX that just flat out aren't confirmed or true. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's gonna suck because it's this. I'm like, yeah, but you don't know what it is. Like all those prototypes are probably not even real. And like the, that one uh, controller that apparently was supposed to be the controller was totally fake. But like, you know, people on the internet will freaking believe anything. Also Barrage. But I don't know. Um, I'm kind of hoping it's gonna end up being like a combination of a console and a handheld or something like that because imagine like oh, imagine this imagine first imagine there's a mystery dungeon game that you can play up on a console that'd be amazing just like a like a top-down pokemon game like this in general on a console would be incredible um I, well I don't, they've never brought mystery dungeon to it but i know it'll be on wii u but i'm saying like a new like mystery dungeon on wii or on nx or whatever but then you could uh, save the game, take it out on your uh, take it out on your handheld version of NX, and you could play it like on the airplane or something. But imagine also if you did that with Animal Crossing or something. How like brilliant is that? Because I feel like Animal Crossing is a lot more fitted for the handheld, and I think a lot of people will agree, will agree with me there. Um, but I think that the, that uh, that once once if like that's what ends up happening with NX, that would be really cool because then you could play it on the console when you're at home. And then you could also play it on the handheld, and it would be like the same system. It's kind of how like uh, Vita and PS4 did like remote play or something like that, but more intense than that, you know? It's kind of like the Wii U started that, because you could technically play off screen, but you still had to be connected to the console. But I don't know, that would be pretty sweet. Nintendo, if you're listening for whatever reason. Also, what? I just passed an awakening? I didn't even notice that when I was recording. I just noticed that I looked back at the footage right now. Like literally right now, and I pat and I went over an awakening. Are you kidding me? What? Like that's stupid. I didn't even notice it. I was just like autopiloting through the game, through this, and and I passed an awakening, and I had no freaking idea. 
God dang it. I, I kind of want to know what happens if we give it to Gibbs, because I know what happens if we give it to Barnaby. He's going to Mega Evolve, and Genesect would be whatever the same thing Gibbs would be. But, like, what? Maybe, uh, th I swear, like, it's either my subconscious or the game just doesn't want me to use an Awakening. For whatever reason, I have no idea. But that just tends to be the way of the world, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, but, I don't know. I, I wish I would have seen that Awakening. Ugh, God. Ever since that one time... Well, I don't remember who it was. Was it Genesect or somebody who who took the away? I don't or I don't remember who it was that like stopped Barnaby from using the Awakening. But then I found a wand expert, and then I started to be smart because I remember I had Guidy wands. Also, that room totally a hundred percent looked like a monster house room, and I was panicked for a minute because yeah, there are monster houses at the Lake of Enlightenment. Why wouldn't there be? It's a thirty floor dungeon. That's just kind of the world we live in now. Monster houses can be anywhere, dude. They can be any. In, in, I wonder what the. I don't even remember what the Azov one was. I know we unlocked it because obviously you would because there's three. There's three legendaries and they progressively unlock. Also, before you come in here, should have said this probably at the beginning. You want to make sure that you accepted a uh, accepted the mission from Yuxi, which will automatically show up in your connection orb after you have completed, after you have uh, connected with Mesprit, it'll automatically show up there just on the next day whenever. Um, so just before you head out to the Lake of Enlightenment, make sure you check the uh, connection orb to see that message from Yuxi. Or else you'll be going through this 30 floor hellscape for no reason. Also, this, this poor Cacturn tried so hard, but I was like, nope, I had Barrage Drain Punch. And yeah, that's just not really fair, is it? Uh, but whatever, um, there's not, I don't know, we, I started, when I figured out, like, I was like, why don't I just use freaking guiding wands, like, that would have been way smarter, I, I saved a whole bunch of time, because I was like, I can just guiding wand the, the, through the rest of the dungeon, but whatever, apparently on this floor I didn't do it yet, I, I think I do it, maybe I don't, but I know I do it for the last, like, 20, um, for the last floors from, like, 20 to 30, I think I do it then, but I don't know, man. I, just, I still can't believe that freaking awakening thing. Whatever. Maybe one of these times. Maybe it'll be. Maybe it'll take the Azelf dungeon, or maybe it'll take the Grovile mission, which I did get by the way, which I might be covering after we do Azelf, because I'd like to do the three lake, the lake trio, just kind of sequentially like that. And and if Azelf's dungeon's really long, I'm probably going to do it the same way I'm doing this, because that way you can get through the bulk of the dungeon in one episode, and I think that's a good idea. Um, and then we can talk about cool stuff together, like the NX, or all, all the, whatever I was yammering on about before, uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, uh, like, uh, Stardew Valley and all that stuff. Also, that cadaver teleported into this room, teleports again, and I don't know where he goes. He teleported down the hallway, into another room, to me, for me to almost kill him, <laughs> excuse me, make him faint, for him to teleport away. Like, what? I don't know. The, I, the, I guess the AI in this still hasn't been perfected. It's a lot better, though, but don't worry, guys. Throughout this, you will see that Barnaby was all about making sure his mind was calm. That's a really important thing to think about. Dude needs a calm mind if he's going to be Aura's fearing people. And this Psyduck's immortal. That's okay, he's Psyduck. That's just kind of his deal. I kind of miss playing as a Psyduck. You know what I also miss? Is, uh, since we were on the topic of Red Rescue Team and all that before, I miss how Surf worked in that game. Now, I know it was generic, and uh, of course, when you've got more technology and more things at your disposal like that, you can definitely change the way the moves work. But, like, having Surf wipe out not only the, all the enemies in the room, but you, that sucks. I, like, why can't... I wish Surf could also could be like how, uh... Discharges or something where it hits all the enemies in the room. It's like surf should be like that I liked when uh, I was able to give GB surf and it just kind of downpoured on one dude and did so much damage But like ugh, there's no like super powerful grass moves like that I mean wood hammer I guess but like wood hammer does damage to you and I was like I don't want to do that also cruelty I think this is the cruelty floor where yeah, it, it guided me that the stairs were in that corner also help, I'm confused. Barnaby's just like, don't worry, my mind is so calm. Now I killed him. They put that in the corner, and then watch, you have to go up and around. Oh, this is the why not? This is the one shadow tag, and I was like, wow, okay. So I have to use an elixir while I can't move. Have him come closer, I'll switch to Barnaby, take him out from over there, and then he's trying to destiny bond it, and I was like, this freaking why not? But we finally evolved or leveled up again, though. It doesn't have look at how like stupid. This, the weight of this, the weight of this room alone is. I would have never found this out. 
I would have been stuck. Oh, I just dropped another microphone and hit a ukulele. Oh yeah, and then it went to this. Went to this floor just freaking sucked, dude. The way, like, why would they do that's deliberately there to mess with you, like roguelike, whatever. I don't care. That's stupid. And I think it happens multiple times too. I think it happens just like regularly all the time. I don't really, I don't really know, but like, I, I just don't like when that happens. It's stupid. But whatever. We're, uh, we're almost through the dungeon anyway. We've almost encountered Yuxi, which is delightful. And, uh, that'll be two of the three Lake Guardians, who I, you know, it'll be, it'll be nice to, uh, to finish off with them, I think. Um, to get them out of the way. Because, cool Pokemon, but, like, it'll be, it'll be nice to, a lot of people have requested the Grovile mission that you get in your Connection Orb, which I mentioned I did get. Um, it's a Grovile, and I believe it's actually the Shiny Celebi mission, too, because, um... I think that, that it's actually the same mission, it's supposed to be a recreation of the mission from, of the thing from, uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness and Sky, I mean, it pro- it, like, most definitely is. It's cool to see that, though, because that doesn't happen very often, so, uh, I like that, and it's pretty nice. Um, and it'll be a nice thing, to, especially for the channel, because everybody who followed that LP, like, that was a pretty big LP on the channel for the time being. So we'll, uh, we'll do that, and this is the last floor. Let's go ahead and, and meet Yuxi. Somebody's on this floor, how about that transition right there? But we made it, guys. We made it, guys. Gibbs is getting hungry, but there is Yuxi in front of us. The being of knowledge. Let's go up and talk to him. We can't push him, though. It's a legendary Yuxi. You were able to meet Yuxi. It took so many floors to get here. So much strife, so much pain. I knew for a long time that you'd visit here. Because you're so freaking smart, Yuxi. You're so enlightened. Maybe you should put more of a lake in your lake of enlightenment. I mean, I know there's a lake down here, so I guess what I'm saying doesn't matter that much, but come on. You could at least put- I mean, there were water Pokemon in here, so... Yuxi's on more of the right track than Mesprit is, which makes sense, because he's smarter. And he's, like, all about be know being knowledgeable or something, but, like, there wasn't even a reference to explore the sky in this. Come on. But anyway, doing that unlocks, you guessed it, the Spring of Resolve. Not that you guessed the name, but you guessed it another dungeon to house another the third of the lake trio as elf, which we'll be going after in the next episode, most likely. It makes sense to do that, and Aurora's I don't know even know what that would be, but it's got a little crown on it, which means probably gotta go someday. Gotta go check out those crowns, man. Gotta go check them out. But there we have it, everybody, and uh there's two of the three of the lake trio. And I'll probably eventually after that be uh, starting doing, I'll at least touch on the Grovile and Shiny Celebi mission, which I did unlock. Because um, I've had a lot of requests for that, but there we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and save, and uh, I'm going to return to the main menu, because that was a job well done. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, having a speed through the dungeon. I think that made for a very efficient and very fun episode. But anyway, guys... We're gonna end things off here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>